A lot has been happening around Kanye's new album that is supposed to be coming out in October now. At least that is what the current state of the information is kind of saying. But we've gotten snippets, we've gotten pictures, we've gotten a possible track list all over the past two days. So today, here's everything that we know about these new informations that all got out over the past couple of hours, 48 hours, so let's come straight into this. If you wanna stay up to date with everything surrounding hip hop, make sure to subscribe and also become a part of this community by joining our Discord server in the description. So let's start out with new pictures from Kanye in Italy, in Tuscany. These are apparently paparazzi photos which are likely gotten approved by Kanye and his team and this is the infamous pictures that maybe you've seen all over Twitter with the track list. Now there's a couple of pictures. Kanye seems to be very, um, at first we thought he was shouting at people, now we know he was just jamming to the music. But as I said, in the background, this is where y'all saw that track list. That whiteboard with a lot of different, you know, things on it and a lot of people kind of scaled this up. And this is what we know so far about the track list. The dots you see right here, shout out to Good Ass Sub, they were kind of the ones doing the upscaling and the putting dots uh, in front of the names to kind of give us an idea that this new album should have about 13 to 15 tracks which is pretty good that's like a solid album in terms of length but we can't really make out any of the titles i've seen a lot of people talk about there might be a title at the top that is then like underlined there might be one that ends with a y so that might be new body but all of that is completely speculation so to take this with a huge grain of salt but at least we have some wood of an anchor that we can kind of go off of when it comes to the tracks and maybe even to the size of the track list with 13 to 15 tracks. Then the next thing we've gotten, which you might have also seen, was a clip of Kanye in the studio together with Ty Dolla Sign, where he is actually playing new music. We can't actually hear Kanye have any vocals on this track so far. We can only hear Ty Dolla Sign with some vocals on there. It's just a 12 second clip, but Twitter's gone crazy. The subreddit as well, obviously. So 12 seconds are more than enough to spark hype for this new album. And we, we only hear the drums, only the instrumental, and a little bit of Ty Dolla Sign vocals. And the interesting part about this is that here we can see that there's the same whiteboard in the background. This seems to be from the same session as the pictures we've gotten before, judging from the way Kanye's moving, from the location, the whiteboard, also the way they're dressed. So this is likely all, you know, being shot in the same location, the same studio in Italy. Kanye now we see is just jamming to the music. He seems to be very, very hyped for this music that he's playing, which is a good sign because we all remember what that means back in like dawn the days with the listening parties, him being locked in the Mercedes-Benz arena, really just focused on the music. This seems to be the same situation again. So I think we're in for something if Kanye's in this sort of focused mood right here. So this snippet wasn't really anything completely crazy. As I said, just the drums. We did get some Kanye vocals from a snippet from Ty Dolla Sign though, which he played in Switzerland, I believe, Geneva, and he was at a club and uh, there he actually played a new Ye snippet also together with him on there, obviously. But there we can actually hear Kanye vocals on the track. So it seems like, you know, both of them are actually working together putting out these snippets and it seems like we're about to get a new album now all of this obviously we got the pictures from that location after that like a day later we got the actual snippet from the song with just the drums no vocals from yay just Ty Dolla Sign but it all seems like those were paparazzi or at least journalists inside the studio with them and it all seems very controlled first we got those pictures with the track list then we got the snippet so maybe they invited those journalists I mean they do that a lot artists do that a lot into their studios to report on the new music and then they gave them the permission to release that footage to themselves spark the hype which is definitely something that i think kanye would be doing because all the stuff that's been happening over the past few months concerning this new album whether it's called change whether it's called yeske yesuk whatever it all seemed very controlled. Even the leaks of the two albums, the Jesus is King 2 and also the Donda with Child uh, visual album, all of that seemed pretty controlled and kind of master planned by someone in the background, Kanye, Kanye's team. That is just something that I wanted to add just to kind of put this into perspective of what we, where, where this is all coming from all of a sudden. Now, something interesting I also wanted to mention is that this snippet from the two of them in the studio also got reposted by Jalian, and he then captioned this 
almost time. And at first I was very confused as to who that is. And then I kind of looked at his profile. He says artist, record producer, songwriter, in my case, also followed by Post Malone and seems to be working with a bunch of other people as well. You know, two change, I think I saw there. So it seems like he's also involved in the process of this, of the creation of this album. And him saying that it's almost time is obviously a good sign when it comes to the release date. We'll talk about the release date in a second, but that's just something that I wanted to throw in there just to get his name in the conversation for future references when we're talking about this. So he also reposted this and said that it's almost time. Quick self promo at this point. I got to do this, but the first link in the description is the sign up link for my newsletter. It comes every Sunday and it recaps and, you know, kind of covers everything that's been happening in hip hop over the past week. If you want to stay informed with just three, four main stories a week, make sure you sign up for the newsletter. Something that goes hand in hand with this whole theory of this all being planned is all the leaks from the documentaries that we've gotten over the past couple of days, especially the 2018 documentary that you might have seen clips from where he, for example, calls Cardi B an industry plant that was just there to compete with Nicki Minaj. And a lot of people saying this is obvious, but it seems like even those leaks, also him going off on Pusha T, on Nas, mentioning XXXTentacion, you've seen the clips on Twitter, on the Reddit, wherever, but it all seems very strategic. It seems like they're pulling all this footage from those alt, alt documentaries now to get the conversation going, to get the controversy going. And we all know that a Kanye album is best when there's a lot of controversy surrounding it. So I do believe that everything, even that leaked documentary that we now got, or those snippets from it, even those shots at different rappers in the game, it's all part of the release strategy to get Kanye's name up in there. And we can tell that it works because over a 12 second snippet, We've all gone crazy, so it seems to be working. Just to touch on this at the end a little bit, but the release date, so far we've gotten the theory with October that I went into in my last video. This is not confirmed. This is just something that's been thrown out there. Obviously, we have the possibility of him dropping the same day as Drake this Friday the 6th, which would be the CLB Donda situation all over again. I'll drop a separate video on the chances of that happening and what that would mean for the both of them in maybe today, maybe tomorrow, still got to see what the release plan is, but make sure you stay subscribed to not miss out on that. But it's just something that I thought we should touch on a little bit because I don't see this dropping in October as of right now. I'm still seeing this last quarter of this year. I think just the evidence, just the different voices rising up have been more than enough to, ju to justify, you know, saying something like this. But I've seen a lot of people say early 2024. So if it drops by then, I wouldn't be surprised either. At this point, we just don't know. I just wanted to quickly touch on that. But for now, I want to know what y'all think about this. When do you think this is dropping? What do you make of all the new info that we've gotten over the past two days that I went over in this video? Do you disagree with me on something? Do you agree with me on something let me know all your thoughts on this album and everything connected with it in the comments down below if you watched this video to the end and liked it and you want to stay up to date with all current hip-hop events and releases make sure to subscribe turn on notifications hit that like button and go follow my social media and most importantly join my discord in the description until the next one 11 incredible day and y'all take care